you know, rugby is a growing sport and getting a higher visibility in the United States. The popularity of the sport has grown over here dramatically, and in particular in Austin, I think this is one of the real strongholds in America. A lot of resources, attention uh, are being put on the game of sevens, uh, not only in the countries that historically play rugby, but also in the United States. We field three teams. First team competes in Division One and has been to the USA playoffs uh, four years in a row. And we've got two teams competing in Texas Division Three. <laughs> rugby things kind of happen on the fly. You have to be all out for 80 minutes at a time. It's a chess match. You try and manipulate the defense, move the ball around the field, pull the defense in, uh, get them out of alignment, and then strike when the opportunity is created. <laughs> Paul's lost. Really the coach's job is more that he's preparing the team with all the tools that they need to be successful on the field. And then really the players are taking those are taking those tools and they're implementing them in the game in a very creative, ad hoc, uh, open flow kind of way. 15s is a game for all shapes and sizes. We're a, a men's club and we uh, serve players from age 18 until they're ready to stop. We need to continue to recruit good athletes, athletes uh, who don't fit in in other sports, but there's a place for them in rugby. Go I tried all different sports, from soccer, lacrosse, football, basketball, and none of the sports really had that brotherhood, really more than just an activity you play, but almost a community. Um, and, and I found that in rugby. It's a worldwide brotherhood, and you can you can see that anywhere you go. Play hard! After every game, you have a social event with the team you just played, and so you end up getting to know the guys you're playing against. You get to know the whole league, the whole union. Just a fun group of guys, and the workout, the training is good. It keeps me healthy. And the Huns have a side for every single player and every type of athlete. So it's really about creating a, an environment for every athlete to come feel a part of a club, a brotherhood, and an organization. Hi. made a few phone calls over to different clubs in America and the Austin Huns got back to me. One of the coaches, Tight Landry, gave me a call and we got in contact and from there, um, yeah, the rest is history. The Huns are just a really good team and it just makes me feel right at home right here. Our big tent philosophy at the Huns is that everyone is welcome all the time. I've had 40-year-old rookies come and join the club and I've had 18-year-olds with aspirations of playing professional sports. It's not so much about how well that specific athlete performs, it's more about how well that athlete fits into the system, into the system that you're trying to build, and that he plays his role correctly along with the other 14 guys. And in the last three years, we, we've really in, improved how competitive we are in a national scale. I want to see this club become not only the largest club in the country with the best facilities in the country, but the best on the field as well. Winning national championships and producing players who go on to represent the United States in World Cups and in the Olympics. Oh